Hello everyone, this is Anime Fan RK 2 k here, um, with a special Valentine's Day video. First of all, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I know it's kind of weird for me to say because I am kind of, uh, single, but, you know, it's not only for those people who have things or people they love, because in my case, um, while I may not be with a particular someone or significant other. At the very least, I'll spend the day express my love for the things I like, such as video games, but more importantly, anime. As you can see here, this is a general quick screenshot of the anime I have actually watched in 2017. Yeah, oh, I know, right? Like most people like will review these things, I don't know, at the start of the new year. But I'm here to just kind of talk about it very quickly, very briefly, because I've only watched 24 new anime series. Uh, it's been a busy year, it's been a rough year in many ways, uh, so... Yeah, uh... Let's get right to it! So, starting off, we have my first series at... This is an alpha board, just so you know, so I know that I watch it. Don't worry about it, okay? Anyway, just so you know, uh, I did watch Assassination Classroom Season 1 and 2. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a very good series. Um, it was paced very well. Characters were lovable. Music, eh, didn't stand out as much, but guess what? Characters more than made up for that. The voice acting was great. Loved the story. Very enjoyable. I watched Aoni the Animation next. Uh, kind of a joke series, not gonna lie. Um, yeah. I mean, I kind of enjoyed it, so what I was like. Uh, Barakamon? Oh, loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Highly recommend it, actually. Watch Blendess. Um, I was actually very surprised at how much I liked it. I didn't expect that. So, uh, if you want to give it a shot, go for it. Um, I was surprised. Uh, actually very quirky and very interesting. Uh, next we have Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte's kind of, uh, Charlotte's weird. Um, I don't quite know how, if I want to say I like it or I don't. I'll say I like it tentatively. Um, but I enjoyed it enough to finish it at least, so that's something. I uh, can't really recommend it to a ton of people, but hey, there will be those out there who might actually enjoy it a lot. Then next we have the two Cinderella Girls uh, Gekijo TV and Gekijo Web series, the season ones of them. They're little shorts. Um, if you watch Idol Master Cinderella Girls, or if you know the Cinderella Girl Project uh, Idols from the Idol, Ma Idol Master franchise, um, yeah, enjoyable. Hopefully, watch it though. They are pretty funny. And uh, uh, Minami Best. Minami Best Cinderella Girl. Anyway, uh, Gabriel Dropout. Uh, surprisingly, didn't like it that much. But I really like Vine. Vine is such a good character. She is so good. So, um, character's alright. Story, meh. Uh, then next I have the two seasons of uh, I Can't Understand What My Husband Is Saying. And I have to admit, I was floored. They are the cutest couple, best couple of all. I enjoyed it wholeheartedly. And I strongly recommend people to watch it because it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, next I have an uh, interview with Monster Girls. Actually a really good anime. Highly recommend it. It started the year off and started off strong. Um, so yeah, no, I definitely recommend that series. It was, it was very good in many ways. I liked it. Uh, then I have Kobayashi Sanchi no Maid Dragon. Or Miss Kobayashi Maid Dragon. Um, I liked it. Um, I thought it was good. I did rewatch it again too recently. Just to confirm like, oh, is it good? Or is it just kind of meh? Or... No, it's actually a pretty good series. It stands out, it stands out pretty well. Uh, I think it did a lot of things well, and um, it has it has quite a few good moments in it too. Uh, then I have Konosuba Season 2. Hilarious. Uh, season 1 was hilarious. Season 2 is also very, 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 very hilarious. Like, I would suggest you watch those immediately. They were so great. They're fun. Uh, next, I have uh, Love Life Sunshine. Uh, kind of a weird love-hate relationship with this one. 
because I originally said that I would never watch the Sunshine franchise because I thought the girls were meh. Uh, but unlike the original Love Life, which kind of like caught my interest quickly and I watched it all the way through, I was like, eh, you know, what, what, whatever. Uh, Love Life Sunshine actually, for me, as I watched it, I grew to like the characters more. I'm not sure if it's because uh, Bushiro learned a thing or two from Love Life, uh, School Idol Project or not, or I don't know what happened, but I feel that the girls are, they grow to be more likable um, as time passes versus in Love Life, you basically were, have the girls thrown at you and you get to choose the ones you like and the ones you don't. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, Yo-chan, best waifu, whatevs. Um, yeah, I'm trash. I watch Love Live. Deal with it. Anyway, Monster Musume is next. Oh my god, that just says I'm even more trash! But Zombie and the Best Girl, um, series I would highly not recommend for most people. Um, it's got its moments though, so... I don't know. Uh, if you like Monster Girls, give it a shot, I guess. I really... Nagino Asakura, however, is a very good anime series. I would strongly recommend it. Um very dramatic though so if you're not really into like a more dramatic or drama ish kind of series it might not be for you but if you want to sit down for a you know kind of both lighthearted yet very serious story um i would definitely give it a gander it's uh it's pretty solid in that front uh new game season two uh, i like the first season i think the second season built on it very well and I can't say that for a lot of second seasons. There are some that are just like... And, uh, but no, that was not it. Like, New Game Season 2 was really good. Um, it is, uh, it is a slice of life, though, so... Um, yeah. You'll feel good after watching it. If you liked Season 1, you'll definitely like Season 2. If you haven't given Season 1 a shot, give it a shot. And you'll be able to tell if you like it or not. Anyway, next I have, uh, Nisekoi. It's a Shaft anime. Um... I like Chitoge as best waifu. Um, uh, you know what? Like, it's a tough call for me. Like, on one hand, I want to say they did everything solidly, but realistically, I think they kind of lived up to the expectations of the manga, and that's about it. Like, I don't think it stands out that much. Um, the characters are a lot more likable than I thought, and that's a plus, right? Right. Uh, next up, we have a. Uh, <laughs> I can see that in the corner of my screen here. Plastic Nissan. That was very funny. Um, short, um, easy to digest. I'll give it a gander. I think it's all on YouTube too, officially now or unofficially. I don't know. Don't 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 hunt me down, YouTube. I'm I, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Okay, I watch it legally through legal means. And anyway. Um, next up is, uh, ReZero. ReZero. How can I say this? I really like everything about ReZero except for Natsuki Subaru. I hate the main character. And it kind of frustrates me because literally I like everything else about it. But the main character, he is too dense for my taste. And it frustrates me. So yeah, um. Love the series, but still hate the main character. Natsuki Subaru is a dumb dumb. Anyway, next up we have is the disappearance of Nagato Yuki-chan. Oh, as a person who likes Haruri and all things Haruri related. Not gonna lie, I was looking forward to the anime. I watched a few first few episodes of it when it did start airing. Uh, I got my Blu-ray version of it in my uh, Haruri box set and I watched it all. Oh, so good. So yeah, like um, I enjoyed it. Um, and actually, people who don't not like Hari, don't worry. It's actually it does have a very different vibe to it. Give the first few episodes a shot. It'll give you a kind of a glimpse of, you know, what to expect from it, and it might be a surprise. Actually, not bad. Uh, next we have uh, Token Ramu Hanamaru season one. I actually just found out that Season 2 is airing uh, now uh, on Crunchyroll the other day because I saw it updated like a few days ago. I was like, what? What is this? I thought, oh, what? Did we really Season 2? But Token Rambo uh, Hanamaru is like... How do I describe it? 
it's kind of like uh, Pretty Samurai Boys Slice of Life series. Actually enjoyable. Like, I had fun with it. Um, I like it, personally. I'm not sure if it's for everyone's cup of tea, but, um, you know, I think it's a cute series. And that's kind of a weird thing to say about a bunch of guys. Or samurai. I like samurai swords. Are they swords? Boys? Sword boys. But, you know, I thought it was good. I liked it. And finally, my last newest series that I actually watched, probably finished, like, second uh, in 2017, is Yojo Senki. Tanya of the Evil. And personal favorite of that of uh, last year actually probably goes to Yojo Senki. Like it did so much, and I think the main character is very interesting. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed it. And it's a, it's don't expect like a happy ending or anything. It is a dark series, and that's what makes it really good. But yeah, I think that kind of ends it. Those are the 24 new series I watched last year. I enjoyed most of them. If there's any I can go back and say, like, okay, out of the new 24 I watched, which one would I say is the best? I would actually honestly say Yojo Senki, surprisingly. Um, followed probably by, like, Assassination Classroom. They're, they're both very good series. And I'm not gonna lie, the worst one was probably uh, Aoni the Animation. Uh, it's for people who like Aoni, and I kind of like it enough to have watched it. So, but it, it, the jokes are weird. It's it's kind of strange. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, ones that surprised me the most, I think Token Rambu, the fact that I enjoyed it as much as I did, that surprised me. Um, Love Life Sunshine also, surprisingly I enjoyed it. So, um, you know, a little food for thought. Anyway, this is Anime Fan RK2K. A very good Valentine's. And remember, you know, if you don't have a significant other, just do something you love. Enjoy yourself or love yourself. Alright? See ya.